Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Dirksen and I'm going to do a video tutorial to show you how to make a YouTube banner for your YouTube channel. So first you're going to go into your YouTube channel where your banner is. Then you're going to see a little pencil here. So you're going to click on there and click on Edit Channel Art and you will this box will pop up. And right down here you're going to see how to create channel art. You want to click on there. And then you're going to scroll down till you see Channel Art Guidelines right here. Okay. It should look like that and then scroll down a little bit more and you're going to see you can download the template here and there's two links here um, there's the Photoshop and then there's the fireworks you want to click on the fireworks not the Photoshop one and you're going to download that and save it where you can find it okay next we're going to go to google.com and you want to find a background for your banner so what I like to do is go to tumblr backgrounds because they have a lot there and then just choose a background that you would like to use for your channel art. Okay, and I'm going to choose this one. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is go to PicMonkey. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, www.picmonkey.com, picmonkey.com. And once you get here, you're going to see the edit button. So you're going to click on the edit button and you're going to find that YouTube channel art template that you downloaded from the YouTube channel. Okay, and you can open that. Okay, so it's going to look like this in here. And right here where you see this box with the, the lighter gray on the outside, this is your banner, okay? You don't want to go over here, over here. You want to stay in this little area. So over on the left, you see all these little icons. You want to click on the big T and little T. And it's going to bring up different um, fonts that you can use. You can pay to use the other ones, but I don't. Um, so you're just going to choose a font that you want to use. And let me see here. Okay, I'm going to choose... I'm going to go back up here. And let me see. I'm just going to go with that one for now. And then you're going to click Add Text. And then this box is going to pop, pop up. And you're going to double click. And you're just going to start typing in your name or whatever it is that you want on your channel. And then if you click out of there, and then click on there, so you see this little like X kind of um, right like that, you can maneuver it around. But again, make sure you stay in the uh, box here, the rectangle, OK? And you're just going to go like that and you can double click and then you can edit it and change the colors and things over here. You can fade it, you can make the size bigger, smaller, um, you can bold it, things like that, okay? Then if you want to add more, you can just pick another one. You can actually just click that one and then change it. Okay, double click. Again, just highlight it and then you can change the size. Oops. Make sure you highlight it all. If you make a mistake, you can just go like that. Okay, so I'm going to add text again. Okay, and again, you can change the color and the font. Use that. Okay, and then when you see this box again, not when it's like that because you'll end up making it bigger or smaller. You don't want to do that, so just click out, click on it again, and you can maneuver it. Okay, just ignore the text and logo safe area in the background. Pretend like it's not there because it will disappear. Okay, all right, once that's done. If you want to add a picture of yourself or something, you could go over to this little butterfly over here and click on there, and then you would click on your own and find a picture of yourself. Okay, let me see. I don't really have an updated photo of myself, so I'm just going to add this just to kind of show you, but you can maneuver it around. Okay, make it bigger, smaller. And you can tilt it up here if you want. And then you can go to this thing over here, the eraser, and you can fix the edges if you want. And you can go do that. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. 
Now, to get the overlay, you're going to click on this little wand on the left here for effects. And then you're going to pick, you know, scroll down until you find draw right here. Okay, you're going to click on that and then you're going to see brush size. You want to make it as big as you can. And then you're going to go over the whole thing, cover it all. Okay. Then you're going to click apply right here. That's done. Okay. So now we're going to add the templates. You want to click this little box over here, the textures, and then you're going to click your own and you're going to find, you're going to click open my texture. And you're going to find that template that uh, you picked from Tumblr or whichever one you chose. Okay. And you're going to click open. And then you can fade it in and do whatever you want to it. And then you're going to click apply. Okay, that's it. So now you want to click save. So you're going to click save. And it's going to say over here launch. And what you're going to do is to save to my computer. So you click this little icon here. And then you would click my computer or Dropbox, whatever you want to use. And then save it where you can find it. And that's it. And then you're going to go back over to your YouTube channel and you're going to go and add it and I hope that helped everybody um, I'm gonna be adding more training videos for um, MCA Motor Club of America is what I do I work from home for Motor Club of America so I'm gonna be making a series a training series for all newbies and for help and things like that so come back subscribe and check in thanks everybody for watching